Is the digital circus going to close because of the fandom? There are so many weird things in the circus fandom like the ship of Pomni and Jax. Don't you think it's silly? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put a like and let's go. Before I start talking about the weird side of the digital circus fandom and why it might get shut down, I want to talk about why part the second of may be delayed. Episode the second of may be delayed, and there's a chance that it's an intentional delay. Glitch and the team at Amazing Digital Circus didn't expect the show to be successful and didn't plan for it. Instead, they are currently finishing up the first season of Murder Drones and creating the pilot episode of their new show, The Gaslight District. It's even worse when you realize that the most time-consuming part of animation is when animators have to start from scratch. For example, in Amazing Digital Circus, they had to design all of their characters and then learn how to effectively animate them. In case you didn't know, the Meet the Circus members video they did a while back was their challenge. Animating the different characters looked a little different than the first time because it was their first attempt. The team is currently developing all the characters for the pilot episode of The Gaslight District and learning how to do it efficiently, which is taking up a lot of their time. They are also learning how to animate the new characters. It was confirmed on Tumblr that the second episode will focus on a new character. This means that the animators will have to learn how to animate another character for the series. The pilot episode alone took over a year to create due to the complexity of the series. For example, Jax doesn't even unclench his teeth. Animating speaking characters presents unique challenges. In particular, kind speech is difficult to animate. Kinger's lack of a mouth also presents a challenge. Despite these obstacles, the animators successfully designed and executed the characters' movements. There is some encouraging news. They recently released the first teaser, in which woman sleeps on an outlandish clock. The site may indicate that teasers will be released along with trailers for upcoming episodes. This suggests that the next episode will be released soon, as the release date should be mentioned in the trailers. However, the trailers are unclear, as seen in the latest trailer for episodes 7 and 8 of their killer drone show. They report that the series will be released in the spring of 2024. It looks like the series is still in production, which is why they gave such a wide release date. However, it's been over a month since the Killer Drones trailer was released, so it's unlikely they'll need six months to release two episodes after episode two. Unfortunately, the statement that there are separate animators working on each series is not entirely true. In reality, most animators work on multiple shows at the same time. For example, Kevin Temper, the lead animator on The Amazing Digital Circus, also works on Murder Drones and The Gaslight District. This means that his time is split between the three shows, which amounts to about 13 hours a week for The Amazing Digital Circus. Although the company operates in a corporate style, one would hope that they are not too strict and allow for some flexibility. More hours could lead to more delays because they are running three different shows at the same time. This is bad for them because they have endless reasons to work their asses off on an amazing digital circus. For example, Murder Trones, the show I mentioned earlier, released its pilot episode and now has about 36 million views, which is very good for the animation space. It took them a full year to release their second episode, which only garnered 17 million views. Because of the long delay, they lost more than half of their audience. It is important to realize that delays can have a negative impact on audience retention. However, this could also be good news as Glitch will want to continue the show as soon as possible. So far, the pilot episode has racked up over 230 million views. It would be crazy not to capitalize on that success. Now, as you've all been waiting for, I'm going to start talking about the strange side of the digital circus fandom and why it may be shut down. As you may have seen on the vastness of the internet, there are many the ship of Pomni and Jax, but I don't understand them. What do these characters have in common? Interesting fact! The characters from the circus each have a genital cannon. Live with it, heh heck. And yes, Gauss Works himself, even before the first episode came out, wrote that they wanted the fandom to make a promise that he would be good. Otherwise, he would have to purposely spoil the show. Let's look at the phrase, ruin the show. What do you think that means? Perhaps they could step in and remove the digital circus. But that belies the fact that Circus Circus has been viewed by over 230 million people, which is not a small number. It's more than the population of many countries. At least because they spent a lot of money developing Circus, and I don't think they would have deleted it right away. And it could also mean that they're really against different videos like this. Also, I don't understand why people are interested in making Ship. It's an interesting series with many facts and secrets. Also to do on this comics, yes, I do not deny that there are normal comics on the Circus, 
interesting different moments in the story. I think we're done with the weird fandom. I want to talk about the release of part two of the series. As you know, all glitch episodes are over 25 minutes long, and one thing you may notice in many shows. To extend the length of the show, there is a one-minute intro at the beginning, which is always the same, except for the awesome digital circus. This is not the case since Kaufmo abstracted, and Pomni is now in the circus. They can't just have the same intro because now they need to change Kaufmo's section to Pomni, which would be easy enough with the music since they have the same number of syllables in their names. But with the animation, they'd have to redo the whole thing to make it fit better. But imagine if they finished the whole series today, I bet they wouldn't release it anyway. And that's for one reason. The animation is so ridiculously expensive that they can't release it now or even in February because all YouTube channels make a lot less money in those months because advertisers spend most of their money in December to make money for Christmas. Sales, and then in January, they drop a lot, so Glitch will have to do it. But even with all the delays, let's pray that Saws makes a lot more money. Enters just like Pomni, however, the animation problem is still the same. But there is some very good news. We already got a second teaser of the plot of the second episode for Christmas. The bug-fixing team decided to take a quick photo of all the characters giving gifts to each other, and in the photo it seems that all the characters were portraying Secret Santa with Zubal fixing Jengle's mask. Kane gives Pomni a gift, Ragatha gives Kinger a pillow, and Jax puts a millipede as a gift for Ragatha to fiddle with, which tells us that in the second series, Kinger will get his pillow for him back. Jengle will be happy again. Ragatha will be very angry with Jax, and Pomni may have gotten something weird from Kane that could give us more insight into the knowledge of the circus, and this second teaser just hints once again at the fact that Episode 2 will be coming out very soon. But stop yapping when Episode 2 is actually predicted to come out if they are really working on it full speed ahead and want to release Episode 2 to catch the hype they have created. What do you think about Episode 2 coming out? I think it's going to break the internet. I think you had fun watching this interesting video about weird fandom and other theories and facts. Give me a like because I tried my best and subscribe to the channel. Good luck.